How's it going everyone? Chris here and welcome back to another Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC leak discussion video. In today's video, we are actually going to be taking a look at a leak that claims to know the 5th DLC fighter as well as some other characters that are going to be joining the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate roster. However guys, as always and I cannot stress this enough, just because this leak claims to have credible information about which characters are going to be joining the battle, that does not mean that this leak is going to end up being 100% real, so make sure you guys take it with a grain of salt and realize that I'm talking about this just for fun. If you guys would like to read all I talk, you can find the link to the original post in the description bar down below, and now with all that out of the way, I have to tell you guys where this leak came from. So guys, this leak was sent in to me by one of my subscribers on my Twitter actually because they really wanted me to cover it. So if you guys haven't already followed me on Twitter, you can find a link to my Twitter as well as links to all of my other social media presences such as my Discord, Twitter, and Twitch in the description bar down below as well as the pinned comment. And now guys, with all of that out of the way, this leak comes from 4chan so let's go ahead and talk about it, shall we? So guys, before we go ahead and do it, I just wanted to say something really quick, and that is that if you guys hear any background information, I do apologize. My kitten, Tetra, is currently playing in the room, so if you guys hear anything like a ball moving around or anything like that, just know that's her having a great time. However guys, like I said, this leak comes from 4chan, and it is titled, Smash Leak, and it is posted by Anonymous. It starts by saying, hello. Uh, I don't really know how to start this, so let me get right to the point. I don't know if this is real from my informer, so this could be fake or real. Okay, let's go. The fifth DLC fighter is Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden, and he will be announced in November alongside Terry Bogard. Then we have some information about Terry. Terry Bogard is going to come with female Terry as an alternate costume. It maybe will be released one week after the direct, I said maybe. Some extras, and this is not in any specific order. Gino from Super Mario RPG, The Legend of the Seven Stars, I don't know how it will come, but my informer says that he's a me costume, but he's not sure. Crash Bandicoot from Crash Bandicoot, I can only say that he won't come with his model of Ensane Trilogy. Then we have Lloyd Irving from the Tales of Symphonia game. My informer says that a Fire Emblem character will come, but he's not sure about that. It's probably, and the Fire Emblem character will come from three houses. After that we have Doom Guy from Doom. Following that we have Rimu from Tohu Project, and my informer is not too sure about this, so maybe. After that, Frisk from Undertale. My informer says that Toby Fox is still working with Sakurai and Deltarune Chapter 2. There's already two soundtracks, search them, Welcome to the City and Lost Girl. We're gonna have something of Minecraft, but my informer does not confirm that Steve will come as a fighter. Also, Paper Mario might be joining, but my informer is not sure. And to finish this, Conker might come back, but I don't know because my informer is not 100% sure. That's all for today, goodbye. So now that we've gone over the entire post, let's talk about it a little bit. So guys, the first thing I want to go ahead and say is that, wow, this was actually really hard to read. Now, I'm not sure if like English is not this person's first language, or if this is someone who typed it like this to like try and pretend like English wasn't their first language, but a lot of the sentences were like really difficult to read, which is why I didn't read this verbatim, I had to kind of like make it up as I go because like this was very difficult to read. However, with that out of the way, let's just go ahead and talk about it. I'm not going to automatically discredit this leak as fake just because it's hard to read, but it is something that definitely raises a little bit of a red flag in my head. Now, in terms of Ryu Hayabusa as the 5th DLC fighter, I mean yeah, we've been talking about Ryu Hayabusa for a very long time now, and a lot of people truly believe that Ryu Hayabusa has a very strong chance of making it into the game. Now obviously, Ryu Hayabusa is from Ninja Gaiden, which at this point is effectively dead the last time that a Ninja Gaiden game was released in 2014, so I mean, although it would be super cool, especially since Ryu Hayabusa has like a really good history with Nintendo, unless they're trying to revive Ninja Gaiden on the Switch, I'm honestly not too sure if I could see this happening, but I'm sure Ryu Hayabusa would be a super cool character. Next up, apparently Terry Bogard is going to get his female alt, and as cool as I think that would be, I'm not too sure if this is going to end up happening. 
Now, a while ago, a lot of people believed that Joker was going to be getting a female alt because there was a rumor of like a ponytail floating around in a data mine leak. And I guess it could pass to Terry Bogard, which would be super sweet. Like, I don't think anyone would be mad if Terry Bogard got a female alt. However, I'm just not too sure if I can end up see this happening. I'm not too sure like what Terry Bogard's female alt like does or anything or if she would work as a female alt. So if she would, guys, please let me know in the comment section down below because obviously if Terry Bogard does have a female alt, they need to be about the same size and everything else like that to really classify them as being an alternate costume like at, from the pictures I've seen, Terry Bogart is like really muscular and big and like the female Terry Bogart is really small. So I have a feeling it would affect their hitboxes. But if we did end up getting a female Terry Bogart, I wouldn't be mad at all. So now we have a bunch of characters to go ahead and talk about. So let's just knock them off in order. So first of all, guys, we have Gino from Super Mario RPG. However, this guy is claiming that it is possible we are going to end up getting a Mii costume. Now at this point guys, we have already gotten a new character from Square Enix in Super Smash Bros Ultimate being the hero and we all know how stingy the Square Enix is with like their character properties and everything else like that. So it wouldn't really surprise me if we didn't end up getting another Square Enix character. However, considering Sakurai has said before he'd love to develop a moveset for Geno and Geno is such a popular character among fans, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we did get him as a playable character even though he is a spirit. After that, we have Crash Bandicoot from Crash Bandicoot. Now, in terms of Crash Bandicoot's uh, chances, he definitely has a very strong chance of making it in. I mean, obviously, Crash Bandicoot is an extremely iconic character. He's had games on PlayStation, and he's had games on Nintendo, and he's actually had just as many games on Nintendo consoles as he has had on PlayStation consoles, which is something that's kind of unheard of considering a lot of people consider Crash Bandicoot to be a PlayStation character. Now, we also know that Crash Bandicoot already has two games on the Nintendo Switch, being the Insane Trilogy as well as Crash Team Racing. And in terms of him not getting his Insane Trilogy look, I mean, Sakurai does like to go with the, like, original looks of characters, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if we got to see, like, an original but new render of Crash Bandicoot in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I'd be very happy with that. Next up, we have Lloyd Irving, and this is another one of those characters that I'm not super sure about. Now, in terms of Lloyd Irving's chances, yes, he definitely is a very strong one. As of now, he is the number one most requested character in Japan, because for those of you guys who don't know, the Tales franchise is extremely popular over in Japan, so that's why so many Japanese players really want him. However, he isn't that popular over here in the West. Now, if they did add him into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I feel as though it would be a great way to, like, kind of popularize the Tales franchise over here in the West, However, they already did that with the hero, so I don't know if people would be disappointed or happy to see him in the game. Plus, a lot of people think that he's just another anime swordsman, which honestly couldn't be further from the truth because Lloyd is actually really unique. If you guys have never seen him play, go check out Super Smash Flash 2 because he is a great moveset. After that, apparently we're going to get a Fire Emblem character, which honestly at this point, I'm kind of pretty sure we're not. I feel as though Sakurai feels that we have way too many Fire Emblem characters in Smash as it is, and if we were going to end up getting a new Fire Emblem character like from Three Houses or something, wouldn't it have made a lot more sense to release that character around the time of Fire Emblem Three Houses? I mean, that's what they did with Korin back in Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, but hey, if we do end up getting a character like Edelgard or Byleth, I wouldn't be too upset because they do seem pretty different from like Marth and Roy. After that, we have Reimu from the Tohu Project, and I honestly have no idea who this even is. I mean, I've seen Reimu a couple of times, we've talked about her a little bit, but for some reason, my gut is telling me that we're probably not going to end up seeing her in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, so I think that's where I'm standing as of now. If we do end up getting her and she's super unique, I'd absolutely love to see her. However, my gut's telling me we're probably not going to get her, but if you guys think we are, let me know in the comments. I'd love to learn more about her. After that, we have Frisk from Undertale. Now, obviously, guys, Frisk is a character that, for some reason, is still very heavily debated right now. Obviously, we just got the Sans Me costume, as well as the Megalovania soundtrack in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and I feel like that was the big Undertale reveal. Now, 
Obviously, Sans is a much more popular character than Frisk, and although I would absolutely love to see Frisk in the game, I feel as though Undertale has gotten all of the, like, love that it's going to get in Super Smash Bros. as of now. Maybe in the next Super Smash Bros. game, we'll end up seeing Sans or Frisk as a playable character. However, at the moment, I can't really see them adding Frisk. After that, we have something from Minecraft. Now, similar to Vergaben, this leaker does not come out and say, like, it's going to be Steve as a playable character. It just says that we are going to get some kind of Minecraft content, whether that be a stage or a boss or something else like that. Personally, I am shocked we already don't have something from Minecraft, and I'd love to see something soon. Hopefully, they do add it in. After that, we have Doom Guy from the Doom franchise. Now, obviously, Doom Guy is a character we've talked about a whole bunch, and honestly, he definitely has a very strong chance of making it in. Like, yes, I do understand he's from an M-rated game, but guys, so is Bayonetta and so is Snake, so that shouldn't hold him back. Now, in terms of Doom Guy's chances, we already have two Doom games on the Nintendo Switch, being both Doom and Doom Eternal, and we know that Doom 64 is officially coming, and along with it, maybe we'll also get Doom Guy. I'd be pretty happy if he ended up making it in. After that, we have Paper Mario, and as much as I want this to be true, guys, I have no idea if this is going to end up happening. Now, if this does end up happening, that means that we are definitely going to be getting the Paper Mario from, like, Color Splash and Sticker Star, which is, like, universally decided that those are, like, the worst variations of Paper Mario. Personally, I'd love to see if he brought back some old partners and stuff like that, but I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. And finally, guys, we have Conker from Conker's Bad Fur Day, and as much as I would absolutely love to see Conker in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I'm pretty sure he is owned by Rare, and considering we already got Banjo-Kazooie, and Conker isn't a character like Geno that's like super highly requested. For some reason, I have a feeling we're probably not going to end up seeing him, but Conker would be really cool. However, guys, with all of that being said, do I believe that this league is real? Honestly, guys, probably not. As cool as it would be to see all of these characters join Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I just feel like there's, first of all, there's just a lot of characters here, and like, how did this leaker already find out about all of these characters? But also, guys, like, why would we be getting some, like, Reimu and Frisk when we already have Sans Undertale? Like, I don't know. Those are just all my thoughts, so make sure you let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share, and like, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.